If you're looking to sell products online and aren't sure which platform to use, WAP might be a good choice. It's one of the easiest platforms to get started with, and it's completely free. In this video, we'll explain what WAP is, walk you through setting up a store by using a case study, talk about the fees, and some of the controversy surrounding the platform, so you can decide if WAP is the right fit for you. So, what is WAP? In simple terms, it's an online platform where you can sell your products. You could compare it to, let's say, a Gumroad, Payhip, Etsy, or even Shopify. But it goes one step further because you can integrate other apps and tools, making it a more robust and flexible option. WAP is also a marketplace that makes it easier for others to discover what you're selling. Let's not waste any time and get right into it. To begin, visit WAP.com and sign in using the email of your choice. You'll be sent a verification code, so after you confirm everything, you'll fill out the typical information like your store name, your username, pick your avatar, etc. You'll then be prompted to join a WAP. You don't need to worry about this too much, but one of the hot items now is clipping with WAP, which we'll cover in a separate video. For now, just join it and click next. At first glance, this screen may seem a little overwhelming, but you'll get used to it really quick. So now is the time to create our store or WAP. To do that, over here on the left, click the Start Selling icon, and then click Create Your WAP. Now, as a side note, you should also join WAP University because you can take more tutorials if needed. So go ahead and click Create Your WAP. The first step is to give your store a name. And for today, let's pretend that we want to create a WAP that teaches people how to publish your own comics. This next step is important because here is your chance to tell people what they are going to get when they buy your product. Next is your store link, and you can edit this whenever. So for today, we'll leave it as is and keep moving. Once that's complete, WAP will take a few moments to build your store, and you'll eventually be brought to the screen. The next step is to click Design Your Store, and you'll be brought to the screen. So over here, this is what people will see when they visit your shop. Our job is just to fill in the blanks. To begin, where it reads Upload Media, here is where you want to put a promo video that explains what your product is all about. For this next section, you want to type in a description that goes a little deeper to explain what the people will get when they buy from you. Click on Edit Details, and over here on the right, you can upload your logo, type in a name, use a strong headline, description, etc. You'll also want to select the category your WAP is in. In our case, let's go with business. We can also choose the call to action that we want people to see. Once that's complete, click save and we're ready for the next step. If we scroll down, we can invite people to join. Right here where it reads, this is what you'll get. It will make much more sense once we start adding in apps here in a few moments. But for now, let's continue on. Next up is to edit your creator details. And it's your chance to tell people about yourself and establish some credibility. So we can click edit, add our info, include any social links, and save our work. Moving on, here we have our personas. Personas are the type of people we want to target. So for our example, some of the people we want to target are aspiring comic creators, or perhaps a hobbyist who's been thinking about getting into creating comics for a while and just needs a little nudge. Go ahead and click on personas, add a persona, type in a name and a description. Next up is your pricing. Here you have three choices, free, one-time payment or subscription. Click on Manage Pricing, then down here in the lower right, Create Pricing Options. Go ahead and click on Paid if it's not selected, then Continue. You'll then have a choice for a one-time or subscription. You can choose what works best for you, but for today, let's go with a single time, then Continue. On this next screen is where you can set the price of your product along with the currency type. You can also choose to revoke access after a certain time, but I'm not sure why you want to do that. You also have the option of letting people pay with PayPal or crypto. Next is the price visibility. It makes sense to let people know the price right up front. So we'll go with visible and continue. Moving on, let's talk about the benefits and this will appear as a bulleted list on your store. It's very straightforward. Okay, next up is the frequently asked questions or FAQ. Let's click on edit FAQs. Here is where you want to list out the questions that you know you're going to be asked along with the answers. For example, in our case, some common questions might be, do you offer refunds? Will I get lifetime access? Do I get a certificate of completion? What if I have questions? And so on. 
And at this point, you just need to enter the question along with the answer. You can see that the questions will appear in a collapsible style. Clearly, we don't have any reviews, so we can skip that. Next up is affiliates. This is a nice feature of WAP because you can let other people promote your product and they get paid in return. The key here is to not be cheap and give them a bigger percentage of the sale. A good number to target is at least 50% and above. Click on affiliates, then we can set our percentage. Next is the asset section. Here is where you can upload some files for your affiliates to use to promote your product. So make sure you don't skip out here. Okay, that does it for the foundation of building our WAP. The next thing we'll look at is our apps, and this is where WAP can really make your life easier with your store. In a nutshell, apps are basically modules or plugins that are special features for your WAP. Some of the ones that we'll look at will include the Learn, Chat, Calendar, Website Embed, and some of the ways you can offer people to make money with your WAP. There's no need for long-winded explanations with these apps because they are very intuitive to use. So how about we kick things off and install the Learn app because we're selling a course. To begin, over here on the left, click Learn, then Add App, and click Course. Go ahead and give your course a name, then click Create. And once you see the screen, click Begin Setup. At the prompt, click Create Your Course Now. Go ahead and give it a name, then add the tagline along with the description. When you reach this screen, just fill in the blanks. We can start off by uploading a banner image to give things a little more curb appeal. Next, we need to add the most important part, which is obviously the content. So over here, where it reads chapters, we can edit the text to make it more relevant. From there, we can add the chapter content, say video, documents, etc. So go ahead and click on lesson one. Then over here on the main portion of the screen, towards the upper middle, if you want to rename the lesson to something else, go ahead. Next, we can upload our media along with any files relevant to the lesson. Once that's complete, go ahead and click on lesson two, essentially doing a rinse and repeat. If necessary, you can add a new lesson or even add a new chapter if you need. Once you're done, I'd recommend clicking on the back arrow in your browser to get back to the edit course screen. As a side note, you have some course settings you can adjust over here if you want. If you want to see what your course will look like, go up here and click on the courses link. And there you go. If you look over here on the left, you'll see your course name. If you hover on it, you'll see this gear icon. When you click on the gear icon, you can adjust some settings like changing the icon, making the course visible, etc. All right, and that'll be enough to get you started with your courses. Let's move on to the next app. The next app we'll add is the chat app. The chat app lets your members talk and engage. So this is a good one to use. Go ahead and click on chat, then add app, give your chat a name, then click create. Next, up here towards the top, if you click configure chat, on this page, you can choose your settings. For example, who can react, who can post, if you want to block any URLs or media, if someone needs a timeout, you can put them in one. You can also include any words you don't want people to use. And right there is your chat. Let's move on to the next app. The next app we'll look at is the calendar. This app is good to use if you want to have people book time with you or host a live event. So go ahead and click on calendar, then add the app, and then calendar booking. So go ahead and give your calendar a name, then click create. And again, in the upper portion of your screen, Click Configure Calendar Bookings, then Add Availability. As you can see, this is very straightforward. You can give your entry a name, description, set the duration, let people know how much it'll cost. But the only catch is you have to connect an account that can manage your time, say Google Meet, a link from a website, and as of this recording, Zoom will be available soon. Click Continue, and on this screen, you can set the days and the hours you're available then click create and that's it for the calendar app. Let's move on to the next one. Next up, let's take a look at the events app. The event app can be used when you host say a live stream or in our case study, say we're hosting an exclusive that's not included in the normal curriculum. Make sure you're on the calendar section, then click add app, then event. Go ahead and give your event a name, click on create towards the upper portion of the screen, click on configure events, then create. From here, upload any relevant images, 
give the event a name, duration, set the location. Once you're done, click create, and that's it for the events app. So we can move on. One of the cool things with WAP is you can integrate other websites that you run directly into WAP. Say, for example, you have your own personal site, or maybe you run a Shopify site or some other e-commerce site. To get to the app, you want to hover over this vertical bar, then click and drag it off to the right to expand out a bit. Next, click on where it says Tools, Add App, then Website. Then go up towards the top, go ahead and click on Configure. Now the key here where it reads Website URL, you want to make sure to include the HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash portion as well. If not, WAP might get angry. Go ahead and save your work and that'll do it for this app. Let's move on. Next up, let's take a look at some other integrations. So if needed, stretch out the bar a bit so you can see the integrations, then click on Add App and you can see some of your choices. Let's go ahead and click on Discord. Go ahead and give things a name. The next step will be to connect your Discord, which you'll be able to handle. But if you made it this far, that's awesome because now we're going to talk about some of the really cool apps, which are the Bounty and the Content Rewards app, which allow your members to earn money. Let's start with the Bounty app. The way the Bounty app works is you give your members a task and they'll earn money when that task gets completed. For example, you can pay someone to post content on their social media account, or for our case study, let's say we want to pay someone for creating a video about our course. Go ahead and click on Earn, then choose Add App, and choose Bounty. From this point, you just need to fill out a short description, fill out your requirements, and then click Create. From here, once the task is completed, the person can submit it for your review. You'll have the opportunity to approve and release the funds. Next up is the Content Rewards app. When you use this app, you'll pay your members for posting content, and they'll get paid for every 1,000 views. So from the Earn section, click on Add App, then choose the Content Rewards app. Now, all you have to do is set up how the reward program will work. We can type in our name and then choose the type, say Clipping UGC, which stands for User Generated Content, select our category. It's a good idea to also create a short video detailing how your rewards program will work and minimize any questions you might get. You also want to set the budget, the end date, the reward type, along with any restrictions for a minimum or maximum payout. Make sure to include the platforms they can post on. You can also include any assets or media that you want them to use as well. Click continue to save your campaign. And that will conclude setting up your foundational store. Let's move on and talk about some other important things. At this point, you also have to set up your payments so WAP can pay you. To do that, click on the dashboard icon over here on the left, then look for finances, and then click payout. Click set up WAP payments, choose your country of residence. From this point, you can connect your Stripe account, or if you go back to the payout screen, you can click the other payments method and use PayPal or crypto if you choose. Next, let's talk about checkout links. A checkout link is a direct link you can send someone for a specific use. For example, with our case study, let's say you're going to offer a one-on-one -on -one Ask Me Anything phone call. And the only way people will know about this event is to have the link. Think of it as an exclusive offer. To set up a checkout link, click on your dashboard, checkout link, then click Create. And over here on the right, you just need to fill in the blanks. Go ahead and click Create. After the link is created, you just need to copy it and send it out to whomever you wish. The way WAP gets paid is they take a percentage of the transaction. As of this recording, you can see they get 3% of your transaction along with some processing fees. You can see the breakdown here, and I'll put a link down below that you can check out. Although WAP has been designed to help creators and entrepreneurs sell digital products and services, there has been some controversy surrounding the platform. For example, some people make the claims that there are a lot of scam groups, some of the reviews have been manipulated, the dispute resolution has been subpar, and some sellers have turned out to be frauds. Furthermore, a well-known influencer recently became a co-owner, which may not sit well with some people. Now, for the record, I am not accusing WAP of doing anything wrong, criminal, or illegal. 
rather informing you of what's been going on, and I encourage you to do your own research before making a decision on which platform to use. All right, and that'll do it. Now, before you go, feel free to check out some of these other awesome tutorials. Feel free to leave a comment below. Don't be shy about using that like and share button, and we will see you next time.